Alright, so now let's go ahead and UV map the rest of the character. Select faces for the whole body here. Good. Since I have that as a separate piece, I can UV map this separate. Let's go into edge mode. And the most difficult part that we have to work with here would be probably the top. To select that area, probably have that as separate. And now I want to select the edges that are in the inside so that I can cut that area. So I'm going to select the edge loop. Oops. Select that edge loop. Which is the inside of the of that area right there. So I can have that separate. I can click right here so that we can have the arms as a separate piece. And I'm going to select the edge all the way up there. Double click that edge. And I'm going to double click that edge just so that I can have the belt as a separate piece. Well, let's go ahead and go to the hands. Double click there. Double click this one and this one as well. Just so that I can have, just to make it easier to texture, I can have the gloves as a separate piece. And now we have to work with the hands here. And so I have an edge loop that goes around all the fingers, so that's going to make it really easy just to get that edge loop all around, all the way to the top. Make sure it meets the other edge loop, or else it's not going to cut as a separate piece. So as you can see, I have that edge loop going all around the fingers. And that should work perfectly fine. Now let's go ahead to the pants. We pretty much are going to do almost the exact same thing. I want to have the bottom of the boots as a separate piece. So I'm going to select some of the edges for the bottom. And now we can, uh, the same, we can do the same thing that we did with the hands. I want to have the boots as a separate piece. So I have that edge loop. I'm also going to select the edges for the inside. And I know if you're new to UV mapping, you may look like this is not really making sense, but but you'll see how we minimize the distortion with all these cuts that we're making here.
and have that edge loop going there all the way to the back. And for the boot, I normally don't want to have the seam here in the middle, but in this case I think we're just going to do that for now. We might fix that later if we want to. Usually I don't want to have a seam there, but having a seam in the back, that's fine, but for the front view, we may have to fix that later. But let's go ahead and do it this way for now. Alright, so that should be working fine for our boot and the overall body. And if we have some problems, we can always, we can always, we'll probably find out that later. So just make sure that you have something similar to what I have here. I know your geometry may not be 100% this way, but the idea is there. So now we can open the UV window and go to polygons and cut UV edges alright so now we select an area click one UV area right here control right click and go to shell I'm going to press W to move that so now we can see that we have that as a separate piece and I noticed that I want to have the top area separate from the and everything else. So I'm going to fix that right now. I'll select a few edges. So I want to have this separate. So I want to find out the edge that's connecting the geometry here to the to the rest of the shirt. So that's probably the culprit right now, maybe that edge loop right there, just so that I can have it separate from my, from the rest of the shirt, just so that we can unwrap that easier. And now we can see that now it is actually separate from that piece. So I'm noticing that there's an next something extra right here. Let's see what that is. I want to see what that is because I don't see that. Oh, I think what that piece is probably the the strap that goes. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so that's a separate piece. So that's fine. So we have our shirt piece right here. Then we have our other piece, which is this one. And we have the back. But now we have to fix. Obviously, we have a really bad distortion right there, so we have to fix that. Then go to player map. And if you follow the first tutorial, you already have the settings set up so that it works perfectly fine. Go to UV, go to shell, right click, go to faces, and the planar map. Now we have the front view.
and now we can use the unfold tool just a little bit going to rotate it by clicking right here so now let's go ahead and work with the with this little piece right here we have to fix that one So I think those edge loops right there would probably work just fine. Cut UV edges. So we should have three pieces. Control right click and go to play the map. Make sure you're go to UV first, control right click, go to shell, and then control right click to faces. And then we can go to select the whole shell and use the go to tool and the smooth UV tool and use the on fall. So now we can go ahead and work with everything else. Let's do the arms of our character right here. So we have that as one piece. And we can try to use a cylindrical map. But let's go to face first and we can try you can try a cylindrical map and see what it looks like and it's not really looking what it should look like so click on the little T that's right here the red T it's a little difficult to see but that's a little red T just click on it now we can start to rotate it And it's still not giving us the results that I was hoping for. So 
so I think we will probably have to use planar maps instead of using the cylindrical map in this case. So I'm just going to undo and let's do this one more time. Go to face and to isolate it. And I'll probably cut it into two pieces so I can do a planar map on it. So I'm going to cut one right there and one in the other side. Now we can go to polygons, cut UV edges. And now we have two pieces that we can work with. Go to face and create a planar map. And now it looks a lot better than what it was before. And again, we can use the unfold tool. so that we can minimize the distortion and I'm going to select the edge from the outside and now go to sew edges so we will go to move and sew edges and now we have it as one piece then we can use the unfold tool and try to fix that and uh, that should be fine for the whole arm so next time we're going to continue to work with everything else